I'm amazed at infomercials. I'm addicted to them. I truly think it's beautiful what they do. The gall that it takes to do these infomercials. They've been doing the same thing for 100 years. They always say, are you tired of vacuuming the old fashioned way? And they always have a black and white reenactment of somebody vacuuming with the old fashioned vacuum. Why is it black and white? Are they insinuating that your product that you have is so archaic, all we could dig up is black and white footage of it. That's how old your vacuum is. Oh, I need a vacuum that's in color. I gotta get what they're talking about here. And then they show you someone vacuuming the stairs, they fall down, they go into a coma, you know, they show them in the hospital, boop, 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 is this what you want? Oh, no. I want a lighter vacuum that doesn't kill me. And, uh, and they always start with that lowering it. Does that work? They go, it's not a million dollars and it's not a half a million dollars. It's not, is that, does that work? Does anyone ever, it's not a half a million, it's not 300,000, it's not 200,000, and it's certainly not 100,000. It's not 50,000 and it's not 80 bucks. It's not 40 bucks, it's not 20 bucks, it's not 19 bucks, 10 dollars just someone going fuck for 10 bucks i buy it i thought i heard a million i thought fuck and then 10 fuck all right and then they go now special offer two for 10 nah i don't want it that's a piece of shit two for 10 there's no way that could be good you fuck yourselves right up your ass but that two for 10 should have quit while you were ahead of the game 18 of them for a dollar nah that can't be good a million for a nickel we'll send you five dollars um why? i don't i got confused uh they always have someone playing dumb in the infomercial and i think that's so precious I really do. They always have somebody going, hold on a second. All right, bring it down. Oh, by the way, speaking of bringing it down, and I will finish that infomercial joke. One time there was, I was at the Irvine Improv, and there was a mall security guard outside. And, uh, and I asked him if he wanted a cigarette. And he goes, oh, by the way, this has to do with, come on, bring it down, okay? Because you got to let people know where you're going with the story. Did you ever have anyone interrupt your story to tell another story, and you're waiting for where it connects to your story? And then they tell the whole story and it doesn't. You go, where did that connect to my story? They go, it didn't. Well, you just fucking ruined your whole story because I wasn't listening. I was trying to figure out where it connected to my story. So next time, tell somebody. Go, this has nothing fucking to do with what you were talking about. I'm just going to completely tell a different story. But this does. This all has to do with, all right, bring it down. So I asked the cop. I asked the security guard. I go, uh, hey, you want a cigarette? Because he was talking to us. He goes, I can't smoke in uniform. All right, bring it down. Uniform. And I don't know why I had to do this. I don't know why I get a thrill out of it, but at the Irvine Improv, there's a security guard walks around and he has a holster, but with no gun in it. Now, I know why, because he's a weirdo, right? But I'm not going to call him on it, but I do this. I have done it five times, I swear to God. I go, officer, and he loves that part. He's like, oh, officer. And I go, I think somebody stole your gun. He goes, I don't wear it on this job, on my other job. I got the, I'm like, okay, every time I do it. I love it. I don't know why. I'll tell you why. I don't know why I get a thrill out of that, but I'll tell you something else I do. I don't know why I get a thrill out of it, but they both probably have the same answer if I get it figured out. Whenever I see someone in one of those $100,000 Mercedes that looks like a Mazda Miata, but you damn well know it's a Mercedes, you can tell. I go, oh my God, that is so cute. Is that the new Mazda Miata? And they go, it's a Mercedes. I go, ah, oh, it looks just like the Miata. They did a good job on that. That's a cool car, good luck, yeah. And you know, I, I walk away, they're like, and I like doing that. It's fun for me. So in the infomercial, <laughs> they have a girl making uh, like uh, these things in the blender. She goes, they, and the other girl goes, hold on a second. <laughs> really? Hmm? She goes, you just made a smoothie in that. Now you're making the ingredients for a milkshake. Now you're making the ingredients for salsa. What is that thing? <laughs> I'm sitting in my house literally going, it's a blender, you dumb whore. <laughs> you don't know what a blender is just because it's different? You can make a chicken salad sandwich in three seconds and they show you a few cubes of chicken, a little chopped up celery, and some diced up tomatoes. Yeah, but I don't have chopped up bowls of shit all over my kitchen. You gotta count the time it takes to chop up the shit. They don't have, I don't have it ready. I'm not in my, a little bit of whipping cream, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of marshmallow fuck, and a little bit of uh, stuff. Marshmallow fuck. All right, bring it down.